Welcome back to Factorio Mission 7, Episode 7. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on this epic, epic journey and this wonderful, wonderful map. It is so amazing and, uh, well, at the end of last episode we got some smuggle goods. I've now unloaded them and reloaded them onto this glorious train. Look at that, 346 blue circuits, mmm, juicy, and also a lot of red circuits. That is absolutely amazing and if I just go back here, then... Uh, we will be seeing back here on this uh, this one, there's actually a catch to sort of get all the other junk in here so that it doesn't get stuck. So we should actually be able to just go out here, unload it, and then everything should be happy. Uh, we'll give that a shot. And uh, let's talk a bit about objectives for today. Uh, I've actually thought about, I wonder if there's like a little bit of a fat loot in here and a fat loot in here so that if you actually took the time to clear this base, you would find chests somewhere somewhere and that chest would be lovely and glorious and full of goodies i don't know um maybe and uh, that's just something we'll have to uh, have to see so what do i want to do here well we can't really take a lot of items out but uh, having loaded then the structures that might be nice uh, also engines as well and just a lot of good stuff i'm also just crafting through a lot of uh, copper copper wires and we have those as well so let me just uh take this part as well i think i can do this and then it'll still kind of work right yes they'll still merge in here but only when that one is done that's not great but uh this is the most important uh what i definitely want to get is uh that's now going to be a little bit more difficult i can't even get the electric energy thing but uh yeah so i need to clean up my inventory i also need to install the new solar panels we have so that's good we'll install that and what do we do afterwards? Then we will unlock the electric engine and then we'll be be making the batteries and we'll be unloading everything. So we also need to now build a nuclear power plant. Ta -ta! Look at that. Copper, we got it. Steel, we can get it. Uh, advanced circuits, we got that just from this one. And concrete, we've already made it. So that's great. We will be able to get all this. So let me uh, get the stuff and reorganize the stuff coming out of... Uh, of this map so i've kind of cleaned up a little bit and we have this monster chest full of goodies that will be useful i suppose later on also some not so goodies but they'll not be useful and we got in here we got well 1000 that's a bit much let's put half of that in and that means we can go over and oh just need a little bit of copper okay uh is that not copper copper nope oh wow that's doesn't have a lot of copper in here that's a lot of copper. One of these. And let's also get some heat pipes and then get some... There, gears. Okay, gears are needed. And we can get those from here. We can get more gears. Lovely. We can get more gears. And that will give us ah, two of those. Really, that's a lot of gears for a turbine. And let's see, is there anywhere else we can get gears? Uh, this one is not getting gears because it's not getting iron inbound. Yeah, so iron is kind of struggling. We'll need a few more of these, but not really that many. Did I say 28 and I had 19? So let's uh, grab a few of these and then they'll be fine. I'm also going to eat that out here. One. And we can also just get it from, from anywhere else. Let's see what else is needed. And uh, now they're not. What is it? That's four or five. So I just need... A couple more we can just get that from iron uh we don't really have a lot of iron uh, but we do have a lot of iron back in the storage i guess this one and then go one two additional that's up to seven let's get more and once we have all of these then we can go up and renew our nuclear power plant which should be then uh, a lot better look at that i think that we got something over here that's just what we needed just what the doctor ordered that one and that one and then we get really Seven. That's six, seven, eight. One more. How much are we missing? Oh, some copper. Okay. Get some copper as well. That should be easy. And once we have the copper, then we are... Actually, we got the nuclear power plant. Where is it? There. <laughs> In storage. And also... There. That's definitely enough. Good. And get rid of it again. All right, so we have now all we need for our nuclear power plant to be up and running. We can go up there. Do we want to get... I have 600 explosive cannon shells. I can get some more uh, 
repairs, and I don't think I need anything else. I don't hope that maybe maybe a few of the uh, of the copper. Yeah, let's get a few more copper. There we go. That one. That should be fine. Good. I think we're good. And that was uh, the shooting speed as well. Now the shooting speed is getting better, and then we just working on the next and all we go well now it is time for us to go up and seize the day well first of we're gonna seize mm, there first we're gonna seize the nuclear power plant and then we're going to roll over this location oh there's more there's more uh is there something that we really want yeah that one we really want so we can take this don't think we want the other one it's not that great time to buff the nuclear power plant and what reactors in the way heat pipes in the way there we go there we go and don't know if we even need to, we don't even need the heat pipes we got found a way around it and that's the that part and we're going to need a input and an output as well so you are heating up and we can now use this opportunity for building more of these can i get more of this I can't go through any of this anymore. Uh, do we have to go around? Go around. Okay, here's another one. There. Yeah, that's just some funny uh, sister setups, but we'll use whatever they have set up for us and we'll just uh, try recycling. I'm doing my very best to use. Well, okay, what is uh, provided? And how many more do I have of this? I have three re re remaining. Uh, this was for a ammunition so that's gonna be fine and where else could we place it i guess we can place it in a group down here we just have two left and once we have those then this cannot support anymore anyway so there we go if we look at our power supply these oh i have 31 and well so for much for me count being able to count to <laughs> count correctly right next up is that's the wrong way isn't it there yeah, and so nuclear power plant is working that means we have more power and that means we can now go to i guess this location here i don't know if we can actually go there but we can try going there and then we can take out the first the first train will just nuke and the other train will send to the smugglers then because the first one doesn't have any value it's just some coal the other one so we don't want to bother with it but the other one does she has some really nice ammunition there we go and i'm going to be taking you up oh take you out with this so obviously we could do this but for 100 coal don't bother it's and some crude oil barrels don't care what we do need is the next one though there and then you back up manual back up and G what is it collect it is connected good and this will now be nope nope it'll be sent to smuggler go and it's not going because this is in the way which is kind of how, how we did the whole thing and once that goes out we'll block off this location again and maybe there'll be another train but at least we have a good train coming in the next thing we want to do is get our truck or our tank and just head out and smash some biters. I just lost all my fuel. Crap. And so we're crossing the bridge and I don't actually think I should be running in the tank uh, because it's harder to see these ones hiding. And it's just woefully inaccurate. Luckily we're using our... Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one here. And then we can look at the map. No more red dots. And then we move forward. Uh, shoot these out. Can I shoot this one? No, I can't reach. What if I jump out and shoot like this? Can I shoot these? Can I shoot that? Well, that kind of ruins uh, the power for these. So that's a good start. But, you know, I have so many shots anyway, so I can just do this anyway. 
I'm gonna have to take them out, and this is kind of the cheapest way to take them out. But it's just a little bit safer. And we can shoot over fences as well. Damn, this uh, shooting speed is nice. We get more projectile damage with the next one. Next upgrade. That's it. That is taking all. We have a coal mine up there, and they're somehow they're fighting. I'm going to switch back to the AOE bullets. And there we go. Just steamroll through it. Uh, something is happening up top, and this is going to be my mind, so don't... Uh, Please don't ruin it. What's going on here? Is something being attacked? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's uh, make sure that we don't overdo it. They're just munching on a wall. Nice. Not really particularly significant. And what we will do is go down here. And try to take this out. There should be some turrets. I can't see them. Oh, there's some turrets. Retards. And any more. There's also some turrets down there. And let's take those turrets out first. Wow, when you hit them, they just go pop. And can I hit? Yes. Can I hit this one? No. Nope. So I don't think I have to be so careful when I'm in the tank. I think I just uh, steamroll through this. I think. Oh, there are mines here. Okay, so we do need to shoot down here. And that's going to aggro everything. Kill that. Kill that. This is actually going to be a little more difficult. As long as I can sort of swerve around here. Oh, don't get stuck. Hmm. Alright, this looks like... It looks like we're going to have to do this in a little bit slower way. Okay, go out, repair, go back in again. That's how we have to do this. We'll knock out a little bit every time, and we will have enough to keep it going. Okay, let's get this one all the way up. It might be just just the last ditch, or last little bit that makes a difference. And here we go. That's coming in. It's really difficult, because it's, it's shooting straight through this. Or it doesn't shoot straight, that's the whole point. It doesn't shoot straight through this. I kind of have to shoot behind me. Uh, no, I have to shoot somewhere else. What? You didn't even die. Damn. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit more uh, troublesome than I had anticipated. Oh my god, that's a lot of blue spam. I think we might need to readdress our tactics here. Wow, so this is not even going to cut it. We need uranium ammo. That blue spam is... The blue spam is definitely going to be a problem. So, repair again. And reevaluate. There's also a big one up top. So that's another little headache we have. Alright, we're coming in on another approach vector. Just repair up and go in again. I'm going to try and see if I can just steam flow through this. And go through. Oh, I got stuck here.
If I can just kill these, then the spam stops. And go back in again, even though we're... But I feel we're really confident the here, there, and that one. And now there's nothing left except for these two small ones here. Good. All right, that took care of that one. Nothing else. Great. So now we can hook up this uh, location and then uh, get something going. Oh, this one also definitely has to be taken out because that's uh, blocking our train for sure. And we have a new location hooked up. It does have some glitches here. Uh, I always love to see that Pirate Berman flee from justice. Okay. Uh, keep yourself in a safe spot. Is that because there's going to be attacks incoming or what? Here. Yeah, that looks like it's now online. I'm going to go in here. Keep yourself in a sp safe spot. That means that we are going to get attacks inbound, right? Doesn't look like there's anything particularly inbound. Let me just see. Do we have a radar here? Uh, do we have any radar? I don't have a radar. I can't believe I got into an location again without a radar. Damn it. Well, we're going to have to get one eventually. I will also need to set something up if I feel we need coal. This coal, I guess, is probably used for this part. Okay. Ah, I was about to rejoice, but those pirate suckers don't give up. The Pine Hill outpost is in trouble. The pirates have taken and fortified the entire mountain. There's coal and oil deposits. Damn, it's so shitty. The terrain is very difficult and there are bugs everywhere. Mm-hmm. Pine Hill. All right, so that's Pine Hill. Okay. Ah, the biters are stuck. Okay, and there's a... What is this? There's a power plant? Okay, and there's a... Oh, another oil deposit. If uh, With flame turrets. Interesting. But we do have... Oh, to the west from Pine Hill is Wilderness Mine. As if our task to conquer the mountain wasn't difficult enough. Engineer, we do not have to restore this mine if we don't want to. That's probably this one. The Wilderness mine okay but we do have a little issue here um we got the we got incoming let me just kill the small ones first and then just group up the bigger ones i just want to scoop them up so that they don't attack anything else except me once they're scooped up then we can deal with them there we go take all the small all the shooters or spitters out and then just leave the blue following. They're going to use this kind of if they don't have anything. As long as they're following me through the forest, they're not really doing anything. There. All right. So that's. I guess we just have the other ones now. They die very easily to these explosive shells. Luckily. And there. Sweet. So we got the got through that one. Now we have a. Another little headache up here. That one. It's big, but at least it, we can sort of strafe it more easily. So let's uh, give that a shot. And here we go. Start shooting. Strafing in. I'm getting something, some kind of hits here. Oof, we're really slowed down. That's not good. But this is exactly what I want. I want this uh, strafing. And then that cannon shell, that cannon shell. Okay, this is actually working quite well. There we go. That was super easy. Dare I say barely an inconvenience? Oh, there's more. Why are there more? There you go. Uh, can I cross up into the wilderness mine? Oh, yeah, I can. I can. Should I? Uh, it's interesting I can actually attack from behind. Because this is the choke point. But that's not really a bad choke point. Ooh, that's, there's also a path here. That means we're going to be attacked over here at the border facility soon-ish. Okay, I did not even anticipate that. Instead of going for the full frontal attack on Pine Hill, we're actually coming in here on from the rear. 
and taking care of this location and then we should be able to breach pretty easily and just clean up the rest there now that means we can go there's a very small crossing here that's like they're really in uncomfortable crossing so we have to go around cross here get into this mess and take that it's actually much better to go from south but whatever we decided this is where we uh, we're going in so let's uh repair up and jump on in again it's a check up on uh, having enough yeah we have 400 and something good and there, here That's good. That's taken care of. We can't get across that location. So we kind of have to go a little bit around here. I'm not going to shoot this because it's actually our location. I think. Is it? It isn't. doesn't look like... Oh, it's actually enemy locations. That's weird. Um, I don't know if I need to shoot it. Huh. Uh, it does have, does have power and stuff, so... Yeah. I guess we just take out all of this. Take this out. Have to be a little bit careful about this potential. And all of this is completely irrelevant. Wow, they're long range. They have a long range. Uh, all of this is... Let's see. This is also enemy. It's really difficult to see that what is enemy and what is friendly. But whatever. I'm stuck on this. I'm stuck very much. Wow, it takes a lot of damage. That is crazy how much damage we now take from uh, from these worms or just sitting in their spit. It must be highly corrosive to our tank. It doesn't matter. We have repair packs. Uh, a few of them at least. So that should be okay. Let's get that going and move away down south again. Move away back. Unfortunately, there's no retreat here. There. Great. That is taken care of most of it. I will also make sure that I take care of that one. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's, that's gone. That's just uh, walls. These are turrets. We don't want to take uh, take out our this one because this is actually something we can use. But we can carelessly shoot at this. Perfect. Now we have the opportunity to attack from the rear guard. Oh, look at that uh, that minefield we got here. It's just right ahead of us. And I don't have any grenades. That's kind of bad, actually. Can I shoot? Yes. Okay. And let's see. I think I got that. And we got spam coming in. This is actually not a great idea. Shoot that and switch back. Maybe it was a good idea because this works exceptionally well. And we got it. And there's another one. And there's this side. They're just working in tandem here. And... Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good thing we broke out there. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Everything is under control. What's our hit points like? Uh, three hit points. What? Is it three hit points? No, that's the storage. Ah, okay. 225. That's fine. Uh, but we got you now. Uh, but there was one turret that just got a full broadside on us 
And then from there on, we can just... We can liberate those locations. Great. So, repair up. And I think that while we are here, we might as well just get the power poles back up as well. Whoa. They have certainly uh, increased their throughput here of, uh, of blue biters. But anyway, let's start by taking out the blue biters. A little bit of friendly fire. And that's dead as well. And then there was a turret down here. That cost us a lot of grief. And this part here also needs to be destroyed because otherwise we can't drive a train through. There we go. I think we're good. And we're... Let's just take everything that's red on the minimap away. Because it's just really confusing. There. And we now have the opportunity or the option of... Wow, we were using a lot of repair packs. Good thing we built a few more. Yeah, this is hungry for repair packs. At least the way I'm operating it. There. And connect. And connect. So we now have a common network here. And I have tons of power. That's excellent. We move up here and then I think we'll just take out there anything anything that's marked as red on the map then I just get confused that's red as well there gone and we actually have a new oil deposit that we can bring up uh, this can be now a new oil deposit uh, except that it's really weird all of this is red so I just guess I just have to destroy it, it I don't like that doesn't matter I, I don't need coal for the remainder of this mission. Even though this was like the worst thing I could have done. There. Nope. You're also dead. You're also f unfriendly. So after a brief resupply. It's time for us to go back to the front line. Of this war. That we are fighting. And our objective is. Restore the power to Pine Hill. Done. Let's see what happens. Um, I do suspect that we also should get some... Pine Hill Forest Pump Jacks. Those are the ones, right? Uh, oh, Pine Hill Forest Pump Jacks. These are probably the ones. And that goes into this location, but I'm not really sure I like this location, if I'm being totally honest, because this is an old location. And, oh, do I even have train stations? I don't even have train stations. I can't even make train stations. Oops. Uh, but I have the Pine Hill up here, so maybe, maybe the answer is not doing this but actually just using treating this as an intermediate that we can then eventually get up to this location let me just continue up here uh, that is more power i don't think i really need a lot of more oil i mean i probably always need more but uh, let's be honest the map is not much not much longer uh, by the way did i fight this is this mine i don't know are you mine Oh, I was just panicking. <laughs> just panicking. And there we go. Everything is mine. These are not powered up yet. They need something. There. Technically there. Well done. You secured the Pine Hill. We're picking up an incoming transmission. This is Crossroad Railroad Systems HQ Interference. Interference. <laughs> There we go. Uh, the pirates are launching an attack on our base. Our ammunition depot has been sabotaged and we have lost all interference, again, uh, to our artillery. A dreadnought EGSS Astrid is still several light years away from the planet and we need to get the ammunition to the docks. A captured pirate base wants to use artillery against us. We need assistance available. Loss of signal. All right. So... Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, like really? Adrenaline and Corpus must be seriously desperate. This is bad. Really, really bad. Hold on. I get a lock on the HQ position so we can see how they're standing. All right. Let's see. Oof. Well, well, well. There's artillery. So we just need to get artillery to them. And... That's probably where we need to get the artillery. And there are some belts. And there's a ba another base. Oh no. That's crazy. Uh, but do we need that base? 
I think the bridge is locked for security reasons. Looks like they're having blackouts at the harbor. Uh, HQ mentions the docks. Maybe we can find the ammo they needed there. If we can get the roboports up and running, the drones can transport the ammunition. We need to contact Stillwater facility. They could help power up the roboport. All right, let's have a look. Stillwater facility is gone. I had a friend there. Damn pirates. They're going to pay for this. Do we get a zoom? Uh, engineer, I have one last request for you. I'd like you to kick some pirate asses. Hmm, you might find something useful in the ruins of Stillwater. I know there's there was uranium mine there. We need to use all the resources that we have. Uh, there is an iron and copper mine, sands oasis in the desert somewhere east of Stillwater. And one more thing. Those pirate assholes are experimenting with something on the bug nest in the little forest near Pine Hill. Nuke him. Oh, uh, nuke him, you say? Okay, well, that's nukeable. Definitely nukeable. That's a lot of stuff down, out here. And it's going to be difficult to take because they're so well protected. Secure, then bring electrical power to roboports at the docks. That's up here. Uh, that's probably a big thing. And they're just constantly both sides just attacking. I wish it would like a coloring, but uh, that's not really a thing. So that's the still water must be. And <clears throat> we just couldn't see it at that point. Uh, we also have attack formations coming. But I think that this might be a good uh, location for us to wrap up this episode. If we are being... Uh, just presented with a new option here. This one will go to what is this called? This is called pump oil pine hill until full or time passed, and then go back to depot one sanctuary riverside, uh, depot one oil riverside there until empty or time passed. There, sure, go fill it up now. That is a that is a massive thing. So oh, looks like there's at least one more episode left. Uh, we are going to oh that's the stuff we need to nuke. Yeah, let's uh, nuke that. Unfortunately, we don't really have a nuke. Um, but that's the, what they said. They might need like resources in still water, or they're encouraging us to do some nuking. I don't think that's feasible because that would mean like a much much bigger base than what we have. We can kind of do some small things like this. Uh, and then I'd really like to get this, but that's like a thousand science packs. But if we get this, we are going to steamroll everything with uh, with the tank. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, so this is uh, the objective. That means 1,000 science pack, utility science packs is kind of 1,150 because we also need that. And I don't think I want anything beyond that, to be honest. So that's, uh, oh, by the way, are they... Uh, yeah, that's just a little bit more difficult. But we already have a few of these, so it's like 1,200, 400. So I need 400 crafts. That's 400 times 2. That's 800 processing units. Don't have that. And flying robot frames, uh, 400 flying robot frames and 1,200 high low density. So it's not exactly like something we have lying around, uh, but I think we can make it. So with that, we are going to... Un mm, I really want to do something more. I really want to nuke that, but I don't have the nuke. So... I guess we could go up here and see if the nuke is up there. Yeah, that's not really a good idea. I think we have to wrap it and uh, and see if we can find get that done in next episode. Until then, take care and as always, stay effective.